Hello, my name is Sidwan Lescoville. I'm 21. I'm French and American and living in France right now. I'm a uh, huge passionate in watches and I'm always going through social media, looking at different images, uh, watching YouTube videos and, and looking at articles. I found an article in Hodinki that was talking about this competition and when I looked into the competition I, I knew that it was meant for me. I told myself there are going to be so many talented people uh, that are going to be doing this competition. I have to, at the best of my ability, uh, show something that that can be um, chosen to win. My inspiration behind my take on the Royal Oak was it's a white ceramic watch with a white dial. The whole thing is white. It's very plain. When it goes out in the sun, the dial reacts to UV light and it gets uh, brightened up by a ton of different colors that are mixed in a really great way. So the whole idea was to make a watch that is not meant to be in a safe, but is meant to be worn outside. I did not create only one design, I, I made multiple. Uh, and all of them had a special little twist to them. I've always been interested in watches. As a kid, every time I'd see a watch, even though it was a cheap one, I wanted to buy it and put it on my wrist. For my 19th birthday, uh, it, it had been maybe two years where I really started to get interested and educate myself in high luxury watches. I got this watch right here. That's my great grandfather's watch my grandma gave to me. And it's a really rare piece and my most valuable piece to my heart. This watch started it all. To be honest, when I started uh, drawing this competition, uh, the only thing I had in mind was to um, make this design to the best of my ability because I knew that there were going to be very talented people and if I had left any talent or anything that I could do out of the picture, I would have felt horrible if I had lost. It's not the first time that AP has done something groundbreaking and I think that with this idea coming from Ritzcheck to embark in a sort of collaboration with the people that are passionate about the brand and, and designers from all around the world. I think this is another groundbreaking collaboration that has been done and uh, I am so proud of all the people at Wrist Check. My favorite watch complication is the Perpetual Calendar. It's up there with the most complicated complications. I would love to see Wrist Check uh, continue to work with more brands and I would also love to be part of of what they, they are doing. After I did this competition, I really started to um, look at what Wrist Check were doing, and because of them, I have been inspired, and I've, I've uh, found other brands that I feel are very interesting, and I feel like Wrist Check can do some amazing stuff with these other brands. Something that I really like in watchmaking uh, in modern watchmaking is uh, the way that we are going back in time and studying ancient complications and ancient designs and modernizing them and I think that's a really good way to go. At the same time, uh, introducing new innovations and new designs will always be key. The whole idea is to disrupt. As a CEO, I would look to the past to get inspiration and disrupt the industry. I was very passionate in watchmaking before I got into engineering college. And when I started in mechanical engineering, drawing technical drawings uh, and somewhat, I thought to myself, hey, I could actually start working in watchmaking. When I started to specialize in industrial design and actually do design drawings, 2D, 3D, renders, prototypes, etc., uh, I, I totally understood and found out that I could actually become uh, somewhat of a big player in, uh, in watchmaking. This competition with wrist check is kind of a certification that shows that I have something more that I can present out there in the world and that I could actually 
get into this industry and do a lot of amazing things. Passionate, motivated, uh, very proactive. Uh, I'd say yellow or lavender. Summer. That's a hard one because I used to live in a big city, Los Angeles, and I moved to study in a countryside in France. But uh, I guess I'll say city. Beach. Analog. Eric Giroux, very, very talented uh, watch designer. And uh, Pharrell Williams, which is like my number one inspiration that I would love to, to meet. So on my wrist is my great-grandfather's Omega Seamaster chronograph called the Orange Jedi. Uh, as you see, it has a 70s shape. It's uh, all original except for the bracelet, aftermarket bracelet, but the, the watch is fully original, never polished, never retouched. Uh, so this is my, my baby right here. Left wrist, and the funny thing is I started as a kid uh, with my right wrist, but the wrist is, that you should wear it on is the one you, you don't use to write. I'd say nighttime. Favorite pastime would be designing. When I'm not out with my friends, I am in my room with my tablet and I'm, I'm designing a new watch or a new product. I am really enjoying my life right now, so I wouldn't want to miss the next couple months coming up. So I'd say to travel back and, uh, and maybe get better grades at college. <laughs> my dream Royal Oak is the one I designed, but if ever I was to choose from uh, one of them that already exists, it would be uh, the white ceramic perpetual calendar.